Well, I guess the story of the weekend was the kid, uh, Gabriel Moreno, comes up from Buffalo, and he was he was in town, I guess, Friday, in Detroit on Friday, but mm-hmm. didn't play Friday, but then caught two consecutive days. Longley, you were there. I find that pretty surprising. Not, not that he played a game or caught a game, but that he caught two in a row. Did you ask about it? What was the explanation for that? Yeah, so he, he actually showed up Thursday, which was their off day. And, and essentially, he began like a really intense tutorial um, getting ready for what was going to be two um, games catching. That was the plan all along. But what I found fast, and I did ask about it, Bob, but what I found fascinating about it is they've actually been preparing for this for a good three or four weeks. They've been sending him videos of all of the J starters, or certainly the J starters that they expected he might catch. And, and ha- we're basically having daily contact with them, trying to, to, to prepare him for that moment. Um, you know, they, obviously they didn't put him in Friday's game because they, again, they wanted him to catch a couple of bullpens of guys and just sort of get up to speed that way. But um, I think the mindset from the manager in the front office was if we're going to call this kid up, we're going to play him and we're not going to play him as a DH. And to me, what that spoke to is everybody kind of knows the kid can hit, but they think he could catch too. And he, he showed a little bit of that with the, the really good arm that he had. And um, first guy that he, ca- he caught, Gosman, he didn't shake off too much. He shook, he shook off Stripling a little bit more. Or Strip, Stripling shook him off a little bit more on Sunday. But the kid handled it with poison. I guess they believed he could do that. Perk, it creates an interesting situation when Jansen comes back. Um, and I, I know that'll be a while. But what do you do then? Do you make Kirk the full-time DH? Well, I, I imagine they do. I, I, I mean, you never have too many good players. So don't, uh, I, I don't worry about having too many good players. Like, I mean, this guy's after two games, uh, what they said, today's Monday. I imagine he'd be in the hall of fame by about Thursday, the way, <laughs> the way they're uh, rolling, but, uh, you know, the way they're, they're, uh, buttering this guy up, but anyway, that's, that's, Good luck to him. Let's see if he's a, you know, the last prospect that they that they went this crazy about was Nate Pearson. So let's hope that uh, it works out a little better for uh, this young fella. I mean, everybody says he can he can hit, and everybody says he can catch. So all he has to do now is, is uh, prove it. Well, one of the intriguing things about it is you now have three guys as catchers when Jansen comes back, who apparently can all hit. Uh, Jansen has found some power that he didn't hasn't demonstrated previously in his major league career. Uh, Kirk's hitting 320 plus, and if the kid hits, you've got three choices for DH. I don't think this team has has this team ever with any kind of consistency consistency used a catcher as the DH Longley ever. Not no, not that I could think of. Um, and I think that's the, the fact that they're doing this is a testament to what they believe Kirk could do, especially right because. They know that physically he's not a guy that can catch three or four or five games a week. He's sort of a one or two day a week guy. And the way Charlie Montoyo likes to use his DH is to spell guys, give guys days off. So it's, you know, he'll give, he'll give Teoscar a day off. He'll give uh, um, Vladdy a day off uh, and, and, and then have the rest of those um, days filled by the catcher. Apparently um, it does create like an embarrassment of riches, I suppose. And, and the logical, thought would be that maybe they trade one of these guys at, a, at the de- deadline to get a starter or some bullpen help. But I don't see that that's what they're going to do. I think they're quite comfortable having three catchers on the roster, especially if all three of them can hit. And it's a real anomaly. Uh, 